say you're at MIT or something, and then all of a sudden you make the discovery, oh crap, I want to do this thing that Stanford is actually like would be a better school to go. Uh, now as things are opening up virtually, it seems like you would be able to do that. Right. You know, here's like, you want to study zebras? Well, we have an entire four year plan worked out specifically for people that want to be zebra experts. And and that's something that that um, that didn't exist until the virtual world as a possibility. <laughs> yeah, and I like the idea of what you said is opening up is we have room for less barriers. I think some of our ecosystems of how we learn and train um, is we're going to have honestly more capability to innovate and in how we do that. Like it doesn't have to be a, a single institution with these four walls um, that keeps that knowledge uh, to itself, but it can be shared in a different format. So these online courses, like we talked about open online courses, um, these podcasts, people are like talking about really clever things and telling stories behind data and information. I think that's great and fascinating. I also think like how we credential and we'll see more people go into self-directed options, like you said, like they're gonna be those uh, learners who want to learn based on interest, need, um, skill, tooling up, or doing something different, like switching up jobs when you turn 40 and going back into industry, because you're like, I don't know if I know this anymore, and I want to not just teach about it in an academic sense, but I want to go back into practice to see, is this true, and how has that shifted in the global ecosystem of learning and development? So I feel like, yeah, I think there's more opportunity to be fluid in how that knowledge goes and how we work across domains and disciplines and industries. So I, although I'm not in an academic institution, I do think there's opportunities to bring back and forth that information of um, learning, training, uh, growth into back into our institutions if if they're open and willing to. Because I think some of it has been let's keep those gates up at the university and not let that out. Or why would we want to share this? Because this this is bonds to me. And so that ownership idea and control of information I think is something that not all institutions are great at. Um, so I'd love to see more of that and some honest talk about what that looks like and in different pockets beyond that bubble of a university. Uh, why, why, why don't we have some more collaborative relationships and uh, test things out and get them into practice? Like, why, if we don't do things like that, um, we're not really taking the knowledge into the real world and sharing it and applying it like we should be. So that's my, that's my hope and dream, the utopia of learning. Uh, I don't know what yours is, but that's what I'm hoping to see. I hope people shake off the idea of colleges for people in their early 20s. And, um, and or whatever you went to college for, that's the rest of your life. I have a, a friend of mine who's, I turned 40 next month. I have a friend of mine who I think they're turning 39 this summer. And they're just like, you know, they didn't go to college. They're bright, but they didn't go to college. And they're kind of in like a dead end-ish job. And they kind of beat themselves up for it. And it's like, well, I guess this is what my life is. Like, you have 40 more <laughs> years to go probably <laughs> plus um, yeah. which is <laughs> yeah uh, you know good news bad news good news 40 more years bad news oh my god what are we gonna do with 40 more years holy crap but but the idea of like if, if you thought you missed out on college go to college like it'd be four years out of your life i guarantee you'll be way better at it than you would have been when you were when you were 20 and trying to get laid for the first <laughs> time or whatever and and have have a bit more discipline and have a little life experience uh under you and so i i really i that would be another ideal um uh, as we're trying to imagine utopias that this might catalyze is is that i would i would love for people to see be like you know what i'm 60 i could in two years, I could be doing, I could be trained and be doing something that I always wanted to do and spend the next 20 years of my life um, do, doing this this thing that I was beating myself up for, for not ever doing. You know, I think you're right. Like, I actually hope this time that people maybe find that some weird space and time to not only if they're working, that's great. If they're not working, they probably have more time to think about, are you doing the thing you want to be doing? Because I... I don't know, I quit my job in August last year and I didn't have another job right away. And I just decided that 
I wanted to look for something that was more meaningful um, and figure out, like, forget the title. Like, I don't care about the, na the nouns, as I've heard someone say, um, uh, the things, the titles, the labels, the roles. I think, like, what are the verbs that you want to be doing? So what's the action and practice in the work? And like, figure out how to get there and talk to some people to learn about that. So I am a, probably a lifelong career explorer myself. So I feel like there's no end to it. And I bet you, you would have had like a phone in radio comedy show, like a 1-800 number where people could dial in <laughs> yeah, back in yeah. the 80s. But I think we've done only more creative things. Like I think about uh, when we put someone on the moon, the US did, it was during the Cold War and there was more tensions higher. So I don't know. I feel like this is an opportunity that people want to not only reinvent because they have to, but maybe think about, is this what you want to be doing the next 10, 20, 30 years? Because you're right, we're not in a job for 40 years plus retirement. It doesn't work that way anymore. Well, the world of work is shifting and changing to have that opportunity to go, well, what am I going to do in the next five to 10 years? And what do I want to be doing? And not think of it as like, this is me and this defines me, but what is what do I enjoy doing in my life? Who's really important and the things I want to be doing? And then how does work fit into it? Because it's a big piece, but it's not the only thing. Like I think it's people have vocations, people have jobs, and people have careers, and maybe they come in together, but they don't always fit together. So figure out what you want to do.